Students, next we can look the Peninsular India. The Peninsular India includes Deccan Plateau and the coastal plains of South India. The plateau is situated to the south of Vindhya Mountains. It is divided into three major regions which include the modern states of Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. Northern Deccan Plateau comprises of part of Maharashtra. Here, copper and stone tools are used in the area. Karnataka includes the southwestern Deccan. This region with the availability of water and other resources had been more suitable for human settlements than the northern part. Northern part in the northern human settlements in the southern part. That is the Karnataka region. Because there is water availability. The Raichu dope for its rice cultivation has been known as the rice bowl of South India. That is the the plateau region also has hilly terrains in the western and eastern guts. The western guts rise sharply close to the western coast, tapering eastwards into the plateau. They are cut by a series of passes at Jinnar, Kanhari and Kali. These served as trade routes connecting the ports along the western coast. At the southern end of western guts is the Palgat Pass, which linked the west coast to the Kaveri Valley and played an important role in Indo-Roman trade in ancient period. Apol Palgat Pass Indo-Roman trade in or important role play Jaidirino. The eastern guards merge more gradually into Plateau and the coastal plains. The coastal plains constitute the states of Tamil Nadu in east and Kerala on west. The coastal plains are West ले Kerala वो, East ले Tamil Nadu मानों डायरे ना दा. Tamil Nadu the rivers are seasonal. Tamil Nadu ले rivers लम seasonal rivers आये रुनो. आधुनिक ने तने आलगल tank irrigation ने depend दे दे रुनो. However, Kaveri Delta has been major region for human attraction because it provided opportunity for cultivation of rice and witnessed the flourishing of Sangam culture in the early historical period. The ports such as Arikamadu and Kaveri Patnam gave impetus to the Indo-Roman trade in early centuries of Christian era. Apo, Arikamadu and Kaveri Patnam ports Indo-Roman trade in Variyuriki Kodutu. The Tamil region evolved a distinct linguistic and cultural identity of its own. Three mana namade peninsular in the Kurcholada. Idil ninam short note aka choik in the ana. Next we can look the influence of environment. Environment has greater influence in life of people. The settlement of people in any region is very much depend on its environmental condition. For settle in any number, we the climate, landscape, rivers, species of plants, animals, and animals. A semi-arid region is advantageous to people for settlement purpose. For example, Sindh region, which is a semi-arid region, resulted in flourishing Harappan civilization. It also helped the growth of urban settlements. Similarly, the rise of Padaliputra, which is the modern partner, and the importance of Makata in Bihar uh, can also be explained in relation to its physical features and environment. Padaliputra was surrounded by rivers, namely the Ganges, Sun, and Gandak, which provided natural defense as well as internal communication. The fertile Indo Gangetic plains help in the maintenance of a strong population base. For rivers, Fertile, fertility good, the lana, communication good, trade good, and the settlement increase. The environmental conditions also determine the resource potential of a region. For a forest region, anangi, avada rich source of timber, arikim, adabola than a coastal regions, le sea products, urivada kanam, hilly regions with rocks contain mineral ores and can lead to the development of metallurgy. 
the extraction of metals and their use for tools and other purpose may add to the standard of living. Example Varayvanangil, Magadha was located in proximity to the iron ore mines and sources of stone and timber in the region of Chota Nagpur Plateau. This strengthened the position of Magadha. The regions covered by river plains have alluvial soil. Soil in the fertility and the number crops cultivate. Apol Avade Tamasi can all the Saugarian car irrigation facility on the crops cultivate. Am but for settlement to code. For example, black soil is good for growing cotton. A type of soil and the crop pattern is different. Out. The surplus production results in exchange activities which develop to trade on a large scale. An area gifted with the navigable rivers has well developed trade and communication networks. Our ancient literature like Jadakas and other texts mention many riverine routes in ancient India. Similarly, the coastal routes promote the long distance trade with different countries. The mountain passes are also very important in this context. For example, the Palgat Pass link the east and west coast and help in the growth of Indo-Roman trade in ancient times. Thus, we find the physical features and environment help us to uphold the historical processes of a region. The diversity of Indian subcontinent presents as uneven pattern of historical development. The areas which were rich become important while those with less resources lag behind. It is important to observe that settlement pattern and mode of life depend on local natural resource utilization which in turn is dependent on technological development in that region. Apol, rivers or areas, coastal plains, Angan or less talangali lake settlements kudi. Karnam, jeevi the margangal, jeevi the reedi, noki airino, alagal pandam, settlement nadati another. Apo itrang aringalana, influence of environment lolada, index questions ake, chedu noka.